welcome to the Quarantine Lab, or QLab for short. Today we're going to be having a look at dissecting a daffodil flower. If you'd like to follow along, make sure you've got a daffodil. Don't pinch one from someone else's garden though, always ask. And possibly a pair of tweezers. So let's get started. So in today's lesson, we're going to be having a look at how plants work, how flowers work. And we're going to do that by dissecting a daffodil. This is a lovely daffodil out of my garden. We're just going to have a little look at it. Now, what I've done is I've just cut this off at the stem. You can see it's just cut off there. So we're interested in this part of the plant. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is something you might have always thought is actually a bit scruffy on the plant. And it's this. Now this part here is called a spathe. And it always looks a bit scruffy once the flower is opened, but it has a very important function. You see, the spathe protects the flower as it's developing. And then when the flower is ready to open, if you can see there are little lines, striations down here. And if I can get it to focus, we'll be able to see a bit better. There we go. See these little lines that run down here. And they're a bit like the lines you can get on a piece of paper that have little holes in, so that you can tear it easily. Well, that's exactly what the flower does. As it opens, it tears along these lines so that it can open out thoroughly. And you can see there where it's torn along the line. So let's begin by removing the spathe. Remember this is important because it protects the developing flower. We'll just fold that back like so. And in fact, when you take it off the, off the flower, you can see those lines really clearly. It's a very clever piece of the plant as it protects it first and then it allows the flower to open. So we'll just put that there. That's the spathe. Then we'll move on to some other parts. So let's now look at the flower properly. We can have a look right in the front here. And you can see that there are six petals. That's what we call them, petals. And in fact, if you look closely, you can see that three are on the inside and three are on the outside. So these ones are inside, these ones are outside. They're a total of six petals. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these petals so we can have a better look the rest of the flower. Though it should look, can you see how these petals link in really closely? They link in with this cup or corona. That's the proper name for this. So this is a corona. The petals link into the corona. So let's just remove these carefully. They should come away. There's one petal. Let's go and take the outer ones off first because they're easier. There's a second. Oh, we'll get those in focus in a second. Here's a third. Oh, and then we can take the others off. These are the inner ones. We can keep them separate. sixth petal. So there are six petals. Now, now we've taken those off. I've not done a tremendous job of cleaning that up, so let's just tidy up. Lovely. Now we've taken those off. We can see this corona in the centre. Now, if we cut down through this corona so that we don't damage the internal parts of the flower, we can see the reproductive 
hearts fly. In fact, you can see them inside there. But what we want to do is we want to open this up. And I'm going to try and do that with my fingers because I'd love you to be able to copy this and not have to use a knife. But first, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to shorten this stem. There we go. It's just a little bit easier to handle now. So if I just gently open this corona up, and we'll do it on both sides. There we go. And very carefully just fold this back. And we'll take it off so that we can really see in detail inside that part of the corona. Or that cup. This is a second part of the corona. Together they make that lovely cup. And what we have inside are the reproductive organs of the plant. Now, you can maybe see if I get this in focus a little bit better. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit. Ooh. No, is it going to focus for me? Apparently not. We can see that there are these little stem-like units with furry tops. Now, what I'm going to try and do is take out each one of these and then we'll have a look at them more closely. And I'm going to use some tweezers for this. There's one. Ooh. Two, three, four. I bet you can't guess how many there are going to be in total. Five and six. There are six. Now, can you see all of this mess down here? Well, that's pollen coming off these. Now, these are called stamen, and they are the male reproductive organ of a flower. Now, this fluffy top here, that's known as an anther. And the pollen, sometimes if you get a really young daffodil, it's not fluffy yet because the pollen hasn't started to come out. And here the pollen has started to come out. And we can see that it's actually spilt a bit on the, on the um, paper. And there are six of these anthers. And they have this little white section here, which is a filament. So that's known as a filament. that links up to the anther where the pollen comes out. And that pollen is very, very important. Because it's the male gamete. So it's very important. So that's the male part. And remember there are six of those. Just like we had six petals. In daffodils you normally have six petals. And you normally have six stamen. So we've got some important parts left on this. This central column here. Very tall, very strong, and you can see it's a lot thicker than these filaments on here. This is the female reproductive part of the plant and is known as the pistil. The pistil. Now, this pistil, right at the top, sometimes it can have a little sticky bit of fluid on there, and that's from this little section right at the top which can be called the stigma, the stigma. And it's sticky, so it can catch the pollen here. So once the pollen has been caught, it can travel down this pistil. And we'll see where it goes in a moment. So, if we take the pistil out, ooh, there we go. There's the, ooh, dear me. Flew off. There 
there's the pistol. And what we can do is we can open up this little bulb, oh, this little bulb at the base to reveal the ovules. The ovules, oh, dear me, I've not done a very good job of that. In fact, what I'm going to do, you might need a bit of help with this, but I'm just going to use a little knife, just a simple kitchen knife, to cut down the middle, and we can open this up. And you can see that in that bulb there are lots and lots of little seed-like particles. Now these are actually immature seeds. They haven't yet been fertilized. So the seed here is the female gamete and the pollen is the male gamete. So what we can do is we can lay this out a bit neatly. Let me just brush a bit of this pollen to the side. And a really fun little experiment to do if you have some time is to go and put some pollen on a little bit of water on a microscope slide and have a look at it under the microscope. And so what we have is we have six stamens around each one, sorry, around any of these pistils. Ooh, let's just move that into the right place. There we go. And around that on either side, or completely surrounding it, we have the corona, the cup. Now remember, that, that pistol allows, oh, let's break this apart so we can see it a little bit better. We can take it all the way down, there we go. It allows pollen to travel all the way down to these immature little eggs. You can look at those under the microscope as well to see them even better. And then, these were the outer ones, weren't they? But we have the petals that go on the outside of the plant And the petals that go on inside, uh, sorry, yes, in the inside. There we go. And then there's this, isn't there? We should never forget. I wonder if you can remember what that's called. It's the spathe. And that's got a very important function because that protects protects the flower as it's developing. So we can remember that very clearly. We've got the petals on the outside and this cup, this corona, protects the reproductive organs of the plant, which is the pistil, with the stigma on top. And that sticky stigma is going to collect pollen from these anthers which are part of the stamen. And that pollen is going to travel down the pistil to where these unfertilized seeds are, and it'll fertilize them. And then, well, you'll have to wait and see what happens then. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see some of our other projects, you can look at our other videos or see what's coming up next. Thank you.